What if we take a naturally occurring form of RNA, which is apparently inert, and make it into the most applicable therapeutic platform that has ever existed? eRNA is a novel synthetic form of RNA that represents a leap in human biology and will enable novel essential medicines. Endless RNA is that synthetic RNA construct that has the advantages of being endless and therefore is not easily degraded and very stable, but now it translates into proteins. That closed loop structure, as part of my thesis, was a, a means of essentially promoting translation, of promoting the RNA's ability to, to, to translate and to stabilize the RNA. And this was achieved through protein RNA, protein interactions that brought the ends of the RNA together. So when I first saw the circular format in the cell, I got very excited. I said, what if nature has found a yet another way to circularize RNA and benefit from this closed model to promote translation and promote stability? It's able to make any protein, any therapeutic protein you could think of and do it in a way that is persistent because by being endless, and by being so stable, it, it, it stays in the body for a very long time following an administration, like the battery that never stops giving. It keeps making protein and making protein and making protein for a very long time. eRNA is highly persistent, it is redosable, and of course, by virtue of being a nucleic acid-based modality, is highly programmable and versatile. That has not been possible before with any of the existing treatment modalities eRNA allows us now to be able to have a persistent, programmable protein expression system in a person. Every single modality we've experienced to date has had some drawbacks. And what's got me so excited is that eRNA combines the best of almost all of these worlds to potentially be the ideal or an ideal therapeutic modality for the future. The way to think about eRNA is that anything that a protein can do, eRNA can do. Because effectively, eRNA realizes the, the promise of endogenous, in vivo, protein manufacturing. The vision we have for Laronde is vast in terms of the number of diseases and the number of therapeutic problems that we can tackle and we will address. We believe that in order to do that, we need to build a massive infrastructure. We've envisioned that uh, both at the preclinical level and at the clinical level, we can build this infrastructure that will have scale out capability so that we can parallel process many eRNAs at once but also scale up capability so we can make a lot of eRNA for clinical use. Uh, and since this is the same molecule, regardless of the disease we're going after, that's possible. The therapeutic areas, this could be applied abroad, and I would say essentially any therapeutic area, uh, from endocrinology to neurology, to infectious diseases, to autoimmune diseases, to cancer, uh, to pulmonary diseases, muscle diseases, the use of peptides, the use of proteins, the use of antibodies, the use of vaccines. eRNA can do all those things and we believe can do them better. We don't see eRNA as one product. We see it as many, many products and many formats of products. So we believe eRNA can generate antibodies inside the body, peptides inside the body, antigens inside the body, uh, and many, many other things. So immediately, in any of those spaces, eRNA would allow us to be best in class and allow patients to be able to take treatments that they take today, but in the form of eRNA and much less frequent dosing. So one universal factory, one universal workflow to address all of these things at once. The aspirational goal we have for us is to make 100 medicines in 10 years. In any other moment in my life, I would have thought that was crazy, but I had not understood what a modular platform like eRNA can do. eRNA can create a lot of medicines that have never been imagined because we're able to express proteins inside the cells. The way I think about uh, Laronde and eRNA is the way we think about Tesla today. Electric vehicles have changed the way we think about locomotion and the, the way we think about energy. 
I believe that year and A opens a similar window of, of opportunities because 10 years from now, we're going to look back and say, year and A is, is, is the, the fundamental uh, element that allows us to make the medicines of the future to improve the health of human beings around the world. When I first heard about Laron, it's just one of those things that hits you. It's like, whoa, if this is true, this is completely different. This really can change the world. Once you arrive in Laron and you see how robust and reproducible the science is, it's thrilling. You live on a high of being able to do things that you, know, you could only dream of. We have a purpose, and that purpose is really to improve the, the health of human beings. And I believe we are here to leave a better world behind. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to change the world.